we are back from our toy hunt from Ross, and we even found another store selling toys right next door to it. And yes, we have a lot of glorious toys to show off in these bags and in the bin. So this bin is pretty full with toys. Every toy we just scored and how much we paid for it. We got this Play School Transformers Classic Heroes Grimlock. I have Megatron, not Megatron, but Optimus Primal. I don't have the other ones in this wave, but I did pick up me Grimlock King. And it was only three, four bucks at Ross, so very cheap for this Grimlock. Not bad. Legacy's Velocitron Crasher. I've never had intentions of picking this up, but I did pick her up. She is not considered a Decepticon, but she was considered a member of the Renegades from the GoBots cartoon. But it's good to have a figure of Crasher. The original figure was probably more expensive and a rare exclusive, of course. We paid about, how much did we pay for Crasher? Eight bucks. So this was originally 20 bucks and we got it for eight. Not bad. Another figure we got for eight was the Redeco of Cheetor. Loot the oh, Jewel. Or something like that. Oh, it's Autobot Night Prowl. So yeah, he's Maximal Night Prowl. Definitely a great figure. Also, eight bucks. So pretty good for that figure. We got the repaint of the Scorponok. So I got a fill in for Scorponok. $7.99, originally $16, so $8 bucks for this guy. Sandstorm, Predacon Sandstorm, why not? <laughs> why, Sarah, yeah, Sarah, why not? We got a Star Wars Endor. Yeah, Cassian Endor from Rogue One, Kenner figure. So I got him. For four bucks, not bad for a good figure. Got a couple of My Hero Academias here. We got Vermillion. We paid about ten bucks, and he was originally. I can get a eighteen bucks. So ten bucks for that epic My Hero Academia figure. So definitely a nice find. My Hero Academia Ayazawa, five bucks at Ross. So very good deal on that if I do say so myself we got some other figures we got from other places we got these two figures from Dollar Tree we saved up about three bucks so we got the Venomized Synthoid and Golden Limited Edition Saber why not Elite definitely some more other action figures we did pick up at the dimensions comics we picked up gi joe classified snake eyes originally he was probably 20 bucks and we got him for only 10 oh so glad to have snake eyes just love snake eyes and for marvel legends we picked up one from them as well this was in a area that had quite a few of them, but this was the only one I had interest in. It's Thor, man! Thor! And you got the Build-A-Figure Hulk. But I'm not gonna get the Build-A-Figure. Let's see how much he was originally. 21 bucks, and we paid 8 bucks for him. Very good. Now we look through our bag of other goodies. Of random goodies we got. So rest of this stuff is loose and not brand new. And this place is called Dimension Comics. If you're in the Pennsylvania area and you live by Kennywood, hit them up. They have just about every figure under the sun. Power Rangers, Marvel, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, even Transformers and all your other toy needs and comic books. And we got some free comic books we didn't pay a dime for. This one looks pretty cool. I might have to read that. This one is pretty cool. Never heard of this 
series, but it is pretty cool. I'll read that. Transformers Unicron. Ooh, gonna have to read you for sure. Oh, the Nightmare Before Christmas comic. Wonderful. And this one. <laughs> Ten tons. I've never heard of this. But it is pretty cool. Definitely going to have to read that. And that's all the freebie comics we got. We got some comic books here. For free. So we didn't pay a dime for free comic books. They had Ghostbusters too. But now we're going to flip out our free bag here. <laughs> Let's look in the bin. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, my bad. Let's tighten this. And get it to work. Got to turn on the flashlight. Ooh. We got some Street Fighter figures. We got the girls from Street Fighter. I don't know this girl, but I got her. Don't know this one, but I got her. Going on my video game shelf. We got a Galactic Heroes Han Solo. Nice. Another girl from Street Fighter. I don't know all the Street Fighters. If you know, then you can do me a favor and leave me a comment on the channel itself since I can't. My comments have been down for quite some time. We got a Biker Scout from the 41st Legion. Why not? He's a clone trooper and go pew pew, bang bang. He's just a redeco of the uh, Biker Scout. Speaking of the Biker Scout, we got a Imperial ATST Biker Scout. Why not? L dare I say why not? He's part of my collection now. And a one step changer Grimlock. For only four bucks, these figures cost each. And I was so glad to pick these up for cheap. I have seen this guy in the thrift store, but he has always been broken when I looked at him. But now I got a complete Grimlock for my shelf, and I could toss my other one in the incomplete bin. Yay! At least I get it complete, though. And we got some Pokemon cards for my collection. We got Moltres, Arnakuno, Zapdos. I do have Lugia, so now we got these powerhouse Pokemon we can use in the tournament. And these are awesome. We got War Turtle. Ball form of Squirtle, I have that card. We got Electro. Nice, I can use Voltor and Electro. So we got the Evolved form of Pikachu. So now we can use Raichu. And just because it's Yukio, I got this loose, unsealed, very Meteor Crush Yukio card. You played this in a Yukio card duel and you can deal damage to your opponent, even if your monster's in defense mode. I just love that card. And this has been my entire epic toy haul from Ross and the new place, which was awesome. So we got a lot of good toys, some loose ones, which are nice. And some brand new ones. Quite a bit of brand new figures for my entire toy haul for this month. Just love finding some good deals on action figures, I'll tell you. It makes my day. Makes my day and makes me happy to get all this action figures for dirt cheap. So I didn't pay very much money. I paid about a hundred bucks for all of these figures. When there are a lot more when they were originally sold. And we are going to get on to next week's review. Which is Transformers Week. We will review one of those My Hero Academia figures. So next week, we're reviewing the figure I got from Ollie's Beast Wars Megatron. Yes. And I do a mean Megatron impression. And the new place is called Galaxy. Called Dimension Comics. Check them out if you're in Pennsylvania. You won't regret what you find there. You'll be amazed on how much toys they got for dirt cheap prices. And this is Eddie Hill. Ooh, sorry about the tripod. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. 
and rock on and rock out YouTube land. Bye.